1979, a most incredible find was discovered here in Dan, and that is the largest freestanding mud brick arch in the whole of the Middle East. And one of the reasons why it was uh, re remained in such a wonderful state is the fact that it was hardly ever used. It was only used apparently for a few years and then it was buried. So what actually happened here was this, apparently. About 2,000 years before the Common Era, so about 4,000 years ago, a group of people came here from the Kafkaz Mountains and they were called the Hyksos, the horsemen. And they came storming into the region and basically took over everything very, very quickly and built um, walled cities. Okay, now at the time, what they did was they built, can you see this area here, is very, very large stones. Okay, here they took stones from volcanoes nearby, which is black basalt, and built this huge basalt wall. Okay, in order to protect the wall, they built these sloping sides, one on each side from the earth around. Okay, the height of this was about 10 meters, which is about nearly 40 feet. And it was eight times even across, about 250 feet across. Absolutely enormous um, uh, 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 engineering feat. And on the, what they did was inside this structure, they built gates. Now this, what we can see here, is a representation of a gate, which we're going to have a look at in a moment. And this is part of three gates, which were actually built here, but only used for a very short period of time. Because it seems to be, that um, at the time they realized that it would be even better than having this 250 feet wide, 40 feet high construction would be to build walls on the top made of stones as opposed to be made of bricks and in that to build a new gateway and that's exactly what they did.